everybody in here. First thing in the morning. It is freezing cold. I think it's like 24 degrees outside right now. And it is cold. And I am so warm. Covered up here snuggling next to my Judy. She's all the way over there. Oh, it feels so good. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. I got to build a fire. Or I can just turn on the propane. That's the... That's a lazy way to do it, but then things feel so damp in here. But this hoodie just feels so good. I don't want to get up. I don't want to move. But I got to go feed the chickens. Got to let them out. So Mr. Romeo can chase his girls around the yard. Oh, gosh. Maybe I'll just lay here for ten more minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm up finally. Got my coffee. I <laughs> got the propane heater going right over there. I can't let it burn for very long because it just, like I said, it makes everything feel wet. <sighs> so today, um, I'm going to stock that shelf over there. And Selena, Mr. Lucas's um, daughter-in-law, gave me another little shelf unit. And so I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to get that all kind of rearranged. I got to organize some things, reorganize some things, but it is just such a cool thing and I think you're going to like it too. Well, turn my back for a second. Feeding the chickens. Judy got out and Mr. Lucas just called me. She's over there. I'm going to go pick her up. All right, we got her. She came completely out of her harness and she doesn't have a collar anymore. So it is time to go home, girlfriend. Of course, she was over here at Mr. Lucas. Having a good time running around. His doggies weren't out. I'm surprised she came to me because she knew she had her freedom. Look at her. Look at those innocent little eyes. Goodness. See that little shelf right there? That's what Selena gave me. She got it. It was kind of like a decommissioned rack from her where she works. And it is perfect for spices and tea and baking stuff. It's still got the little things on them. I'm going to keep those in for right now. I'm going to pull them out and uh, use them as a guide for me to make something else pretty in there. And on the sides, look at this. It still has this thing on it. Isn't that awesome? And it fits perfectly on this side of this thing. It's the same size wide. So I figured I would just put it this way. And yeah, right now I've just got a bunch of junk on this. But at least, you know, I've got somewhere to put them. Um, I'll change what I'm going to put there eventually, but what are you doing? What? So I moved this over. Over here. Sorry about that. Judy wouldn't stop barking. Uh, I'm going to be getting rid of these. The drawers don't even close right all the time. These were like separated, remember? And there's a space underneath. Come on, Judy. Let me get done with this. And uh, there was a board on top and a little chair. Well, I took the board off, and I'm going to show you what I did with this. These, I'm going to get rid of these eventually, or maybe put them out in the shed or something. So right now, that's what this looks like. That's the board that was on top of that thing that kind of formed a little desk. Um, things were falling back behind there, so uh, I just put that, I've just set it up on top of here. I may end up nailing it to it, but it stays up there pretty nicely, so now things won't fall back. I don't know. I could probably hang stuff on it once it's nailed nailed to the back of this and I can paint it and whatnot. So that's great. All of this looks really messy right now and it is going to change. I will end up stocking it appropriately once I decide where I want to store everything. But I love this shelf. Look at it. It is just absolutely perfect. I've still got room to put stuff. I took some of the stuff out of here so I'm going to that freed up room for there. And I don't know. I may put canned goods there. I'm not sure. We're just going to have to wait and see. I just can't get over how cool this is. You know what? I could probably paint that a certain color, but I don't know. This color's just fine. I mean, I've got the metal next to it. So thank you so much, Lena. I love, love, love this. So what am I going to do today? Well, I know one thing for sure, and that is I need to split some more wood. Yesterday I was out here and I pulled a bunch of these smaller logs off. If you remember, it was all even up to here. So I split a bunch of the smaller ones. I tried to split some of these larger ones, even the half ones, couldn't do it. So I'm gonna give it another shot today. Um, but at the very least, I think I can get the smaller logs done. And I added a bunch to my wood pile, so it's growing. That's my goal for today. Think I can do it? Yeah, that whole wagon? And put it all over there? We're gonna find out. <laughs>
good bit of wood. That big piece that the chickens are crawling all over. I just couldn't get it split anymore. But I got plenty. These are kind of like bigger logs, medium size, small and kindling like chips. Phew, it was hard. Um, this wood is really, really hard. On the smaller logs, I could get it with one or two strikes. The bigger ones, you, you saw me, it took me just forever. And I took the bark off a lot of them, um, just because I think the wood will dry out a little bit better. Plus, there's bugs on the inside of it. So I'm gonna turn all that bark over for the chickens so they can hunt and pet. But some of this bark is just really pretty. I wonder if there's something I can do with it. Look at that, there's moss on some of it, lichen. Look at Romeo. He's king of the homestead. Oh, I wish he'd cock-a-doodle-doo right now. That would be so perfect. <laughs> I love that rooster. That's all I've got left to do. And that's actually quite a bit of wood. Quite a bit. But, if you remember, it came all the way out to here. I got that all done. It's all stacked up. This wood pile just keeps growing and growing. This stuff... I'm going to use last. After I've used up all of this, because this is pretty dry, this is not as dry. It's not totally wet, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to let it sit out here for a little while longer. I'm just going to take this and put this in my kindling box, and that's it. That was awesome. It's starting to get dark, you guys, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer so you can see the Christmas tree when it lights up. It's so pretty. Look at my pretty girls up there, and Romeo. I wish they'd turn their butts the other way so they don't poop all over my porch. I got a bag of leaves there I got to get rid of. Probably put it in the chicken pen. They just love rooster up here. Where's the other girls? Looks like they're already in the yard. No, I do not have any food for you. And there's the rest of them. Aren't they pretty? They just so look so relaxed. Look at those two. They're like two peas in a pod, all snuggled up next to each other. What you doing, girlfriend? Getting some more food? Yep. Just about time for me to throw out some more feed for you guys. Hey, Romeo. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? You gonna cockle doodle doo for me? Come on, please do it. He's just going to get himself some grid. It's not totally dark yet, but it's getting close to it. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what my beautiful little Christmas tree looks like. I tried to put one light right up in there in the star. And it just looks very lovely. Even from all the way back here. Isn't that pretty? I think it's gorgeous. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.